Heading into today, we had already seen two epic sectional wins in Class AA Region 3 Section 2 play. On Wednesday, Shady Spring upset number one Independence in a 6-5 battle. Yesterday, the Patriots were dominant in a 10-0 victory over the Tigers, which brings us to today. These two longtime Raleigh County rivals in a dogfight to win the sectional crown. This one for all the marbles back in Cole City for Game 7. Let's pick things up in the second. Tigers with the bases loaded. Tyler Mackey lines one. The leaping grab by Michael McKinney keeps things scoreless. Top three, Evan Belcher belts one to center to drive in a run. Shady takes a 1-0 lead. Indy trying to even the score. Atticus Goodson launches a fly ball to right. Tyler Mackey with an unreal outfield assist to nail the runner at home and keep the Patriots off the board. Top five, Colton Tate mashes it. Outfield gives it some chase, but that one is gone. The two-run tater makes it a 4-0 game. Shady in front. Later, McKinney deals. Goodson with a cannon to tag the runner out and end the inning. Alex Johnston working through traffic all day. He strikes out Tanner Sipes to end the sixth. Tigers need just three more outs. They add five insurance runs in the seventh inning. Back-to-back -back hard hit doubles by Cam Manns and Colton Tate. Johnston helps himself out with a fielder's choice that scores Mackey. Patriots bats, however, wake up in the seventh. Elijah Farrington hits one that goes into the grass to make it an 8-2 game. But for the second time in four days, Shady Spring takes down number one Independence for the AA Region 3 Section 2 crown. The Tigers will face Bluefield and Regionals. I'm just very proud of my whole team and my coaches. They all came to play today. Couldn't ask for more. I've kind of struggled all year. I knew I had to come out and play today. I'm just happy I got it done. Our coach was always saying we're expected to lose. Nobody expected us to win their number one state. Just come out here to play and have fun and just play like we do. And we did. It feels great, honestly. Uh, we came up short a little bit last year, and we wanted to kind of make it up to our seniors from last year and our coaches, and I believe we did just that. We work on that constantly. Uh, every run you can, every run you can steal from any team, not a, especially a great ball team like Indy. It's just, it's just great to steal that run. And uh, I might not have the biggest arms, but it's definitely flexible. I whip it around pretty well. Uh, I feel like we all played good tonight. I feel like we all played our hearts out, and I feel like we had the most energy we've, we've had this year tonight. In class single A, the Greater Beckley Crusaders earn a convincing 10 0 win over the James Monroe Mavericks in the Region 3 Section 1 title game. Reese Patterson pitching a complete game shutout. And for first year head coach Drew Walker, the success that the Crusaders are having this year means that much more. These guys have put in so much hard work. Um, they trusted me with coming in. Uh, I got the call to come over here with about a month before the season started. And uh, I told them I met with them. And, we hung out a few times before I decided to take the job, and they uh, they trusted me. They wanted me to come in. They treated me like family. I, 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 these guys are my family. I'm not going to lie, it feels pretty great. Pretty great. We truly killed the ball, and that was their best, so it felt good. Give some confidence to the whole team.